Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're talking about creating a classic men's wardrobe. So at the time of shooting this video, time's moved on, it's a new year and many people will be thinking about changing the way they look and their appearance and uh, interesting this is linked with uh, recent uh, subscriber, a young lad who's just 16 years of age and starting out changing the way he looks and formulating a new wardrobe and that inspired me to then think well there are other people in the similar situation some may have very limited funds to achieve it by and some may have a lot of funds and uh, can afford to build a wardrobe and build it quickly and buy expensive things. However, if you're at the other end of the scale where you're just starting out and you can't afford to buy a lot of things quickly, then my advice in truth is to build your wardrobe over time. Build it on quality statement pieces, things that uh, inspire you in the first place, things that made you think about changing the way that you wanted to dress in the first place. So here are a few just simple tips that I think might help you along that journey. So the first thing I want to discuss with you is about doing your research. Now this can be fun and it's something that you probably do all the time without even realising. So the only thing is to formalise it maybe. Use a storyboard or a picture board and pin on there whether it's electronically or a physical board, um, images, things that inspire you, things that you really like the look of. Um, for example, you can use Pinterest as an example. Uh, type in, for example, men's classic looks or men's classic styles um, or men's fashion and then just look through them and when you spot something you really like, Make a note of it, take a picture of it, put it on a board, something along those lines and you build up, I would suggest, five great looks that you personally like. So those five looks could also be achieved by looking through, just googling men's fashion images, scrolling through, picking up something that really catches your eye that you're not used to dressing like but you like the idea of. For example this ensemble I'm wearing today was inspired by simply browsing through some images and I came across this and I thought well I've got a jacket very similar to that and I've got a knitted tie and I've got a blue shirt. Pocket square wasn't quite a good match but the idea is from a conceptual point of view the colours, the textures look very similar. Now we're not talking about carbon copy in something you view but have a look at what inspires you, what you like about it, what you've already got in your wardrobe. So when you're going to uh, build that wardrobe up and you've got those images, start checking against what you've already got in your wardrobe, what you've already got that's very similar that you could build a, a look upon. So the five things I'm going to talk about is, one is a very formal look. I think everybody should have something like this in their wardrobe, although it's rarely used nowadays, but it's always good to have something that's available for you for a, a job interview or for going to a funeral or some other social function or something along those lines where you need to wear something that looks very formal. So something like this might be the sort of thing you're looking for. I'd suggest you look at a navy blue or a charcoal grey suit. These are the typical things that just about anybody that's uh, in the business will suggest you go with and you'll always get a satisfying look. Use a muted coloured tie, 
possibly the same as the suit. In this case we're using a navy tie to go with a navy pinstripe suit. And uh, I would always suggest a white shirt. So that's one look you could go for. Now the other I'm going to suggest here, on my travels I spotted this. So I thought maybe I can make something similar. So here we have a similar thing. Now admittedly this is a Prince of Wales check patterned brown full wool, uh, wool jacket or suit but the browns are very similar to the browns in the image albeit that is a tweed suit but then we've got a slightly lighter checked shirt a burgundy tie again but with slightly smaller polka dots and pocket square I thought the one in the image was a little bit too dark so I introduced something with a little bit of white in the background a bit of burgundy on the edges and uh, a black for contrast and I think that is quite a good example how you might use an existing image of an outfit and that then gives you the creativity to replicate something very similar. Admittedly the suits are very different but the colours used in it incorporated in a similar style gives you a very good semi-formal casual look and this is a second suit look a more informal casual look so the third outfit i was going to suggest is something a little bit more something along these lines where it's um, a little bit more formalized you can wear a tie with it yet it's a sports jacket you can wear chinos with it uh, i wouldn't suggest jeans with this particular look maybe a pair of cavalry twill or chinos um, a pair of brogue shoes and you've got that formal classic um, high-end uh, sports jacket look so the next outfit i'm going to suggest is a more casual look so the fourth one is a casual look uh, but maybe enhancing it a little bit with something like a sports jacket uh, or in this case a, a tweed jacket and I think that um, gives you that bridge between something where you're wearing a tie and it's probably a little bit too much um, formalized to something much more casual much more relaxed now it could be that or it could be a blazer navy blazer is another good look um, but again it is uh, less formal so you might not wear a tie you might wear a coloured shirt um, you could wear jeans with that or chinos you could wear a relaxed pair of shoes with that and it would still be a good look for uh, a smart casual look and appearance the fifth one is going to be a much more relaxed look so it might be for example, a um, shirt, open neck shirt, maybe a collarless shirt. Um, it would be something like chinos or possibly jeans or a pair of slacks. Um, and maybe introduce something like a waistcoat or if it's a little bit chilly, maybe a, a jumper of some description. Um, but it, uh, polar neck is another one. A polo shirt sorry would be another look as well and it's a much more casual relaxed look and again with that we're looking at maybe a pair of suede shoes or something along those lines um, and that's just for your general day-to-day -day stuff so they're the five looks I would I'd look at maybe creating but if it's your outfit, don't forget, it's your wardrobe you're creating and you're creating it for a long time, for a long longevity. So if that's the case and that's what you're trying to do, be patient 
when you see something and you think it's the right thing, buy it. Now, obviously you can go high end and have things made for you, bespoke, or if you can't afford that, then the other way to go, and I find I get a lot of my outfits this way, is through eBay, Vinted, and all these other um, second-hand um, websites, along with charity shops or thrift shops. Um, they are good because you still get quality items. They are probably handmade for somebody, but I would be very careful when it comes to sizes. Always check, double check the sizes. Don't be afraid to ask the provider or the seller um, for additional information about it. Um, and you can pick up some really good deals. The suit I just showed you earlier, I picked up for £20. It does need some alterations, but £20 for a, a wool suit, 100% wool suit, you know, new wool, you really can't buy them like that anymore without spending hundreds of pounds. Um, so, another tip I would give you is, even if you're going to buy something that's quite cheap in price, one of the modicums I always apply is, does it look expensive? If it looks expensive, it looks the part, then it will do. And when it comes to ties, for example, now you can buy silk ties, very expensive ties, but if you get the same look with something that's polyester and it doesn't look plastic or artificial, and it looks the, the business, the, the one that you want to do, the look that you want to create, then don't be afraid to buy it. So the final things I would say, it doesn't have to cost a fortune. Be patient. Once you've got an idea of the sort of five items to start with, the five looks you want to create to build upon, is look into your existing wardrobe and see if there's anything there that would be able to migrate across to this new look. So. If you're wearing jeans and you're wearing t-shirts and trainers, that sort of thing, and you're thinking about upping your game and changing the way you look, just change one item at a time. So maybe it might be, instead of the jeans, start wearing chinos. And then instead of wearing a t-shirt, wear a shirt. Then instead of wearing the trainers, start shoes. Uh, and build it from there and as you progress your wardrobe will grow uh, you'll fill in the gaps between those five key outfits uh, you find you get more ties more pocket squares um, and I always I'm constantly um, affected by advertisements uh, so catalogues uh, magazines um, just everyday things you know I see somebody walking down the street and I clock somebody and I see what they're wearing and I think oh that's a nice idea and I build on that so then when I come home I look at things what I've already got can I create a similar look and with that remember we're not looking at carbon copies of what you've vis you've seen but use what you've seen as inspiration so, for example, this jacket won't necessarily match exactly the image that I found. The shirt won't be quite the same. The tie is not the same brand. The pocket square is not quite the same. But the overall look is very similar. And it's not a bad look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, then please feel free to do so. We like constructive comments, so if you'd like to make one, just jot it downstairs and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. So until next time, take care.